More hoops now. We're in the heart of postseason high school basketball around the area with teams trying to play their way into a district final and keep their seasons alive. It's the championship Tuesday at Northwest for the sub-district B7 final where the Vikings match up with McCook for the first time this year. Both teams won their sub-district semifinal to get here and the Bison are battling back in quarter three. Calvary Crawford dumps it down to Corinna Rippin. She rips through the teeth of the D for the bucket. But the Vikes row and row some more. Reagan McIntyre is pure from downtown. It's a five-point game at this point. They open it up in the third, though. Now to the fourth, Jolie O'Hara with the precision passing. Anna Keller finishing it off for the Vikes. Northwest is your sub-district B7 champion in a 39-27 win. It feels really good just knowing how much time we've put in the gym. and just It's a great group of girls. We all get along really well. and Just to see it all come together is really awesome. I feel like we've just put in a lot of work to become a good team and start building a program. Congrats. If you guys want to celebrate, sub-district champions. The boys sub-district C210 tournament is across town at GICC. The Crusaders are the top seed hosting Arcadia Loop City. They're up early and Thomas Birch adds on to it off the beautiful feed from Braylon Wolf. GICC goes up eight in the first quarter. Later can't leave Thomas Lieben open in the corner. He cashes one out from distance and puts the Crusaders up 15. They never look back either. Wolf comes back, hits a three of his own. GICC wins a blowout 62 to 30. To the other semifinal in the same sub-district, St. Cecilia and Ravenna, each looking for a title game berth against the Crusaders. Blue Jays down big but battling. The big man, Caden Broderson, bullies his way to the bucket, but the Blue Hawks shoot the roof off the gym tonight. Kickout goes to Dawson Kissinger, and he buries the tray ball. It's 35 to 12, St. Cecilia. Later, Quinn Rosno going to work on the ISO. Hard drive and finish makes the lead 21. St. Cecilia moves on in a 63 to 37 win. They'll play the Crusaders for the sub-district title. To the sub-district C19 semis, Donovan Trumbull hosting St. Paul, picking this one up in the fourth. Jaden Williams taking it to the heart of the Wildcats defense, working in the paint, and he gets the bucket for two with a side of a round of applause from the Donovan Trumbull fans. DT leading big. St. Paul down by 19, trying to mount a late comeback in this one. Leave it to the junior Joel Schaefer to hit the floater. He helped will the Wildcats past Centuri yesterday, but it's the Cardinals sticking with the game plan of attacking the paint. This time it's Tragan. Barnes who takes it to the rack for two. DT advances the sub-district championship 51 to 37. I mean every single one is is big. Um, you know we've been in really tough sub-districts over the last couple years so you, you really cherish each game. Um, understand that none of these are given given to you so um, it's a great way to start. Donovan Trumbull will take on the winner of this one. It's Wood River and Adam Central in the 2-3. Wood River's called the Eagles for a reason. They're letting the threes fly. That includes Joshua Lure picking up momentum for Wood River early. The threes, they keep on rolling for Wood River, or flying, we should say. This time, it's Christian Johnson's turn. He swishes Wood River up 6-0 early on Adam Central. Now, the Patriots, they're looking to end the Eagles' run. They do just that with a three of their own. Lots of threes flying. Dylan Jansen hits one beyond the arc. The Patriots take over and advance 59-48. to 48. Here's a look at some of tonight's other scores from around the viewing area. The Aurora boys get the upset over Central City in sub C16, while Minden, Holdred, and Kennesaw, they keep it chalk on the boys' side. Tough day for the Grand Island girls in District A4, while York falls in the sub B6 final by 4 to Seward. That's all.